Well, welcome to Rip Off Republic. I'm Eddie Hobbs. Now, how many people here have seen Show Me The Money? Hands up. That's practically all of you. Now, when I was going around on Show Me The Money, I felt I was like a doctor trying to administer temporary cures. But no matter which way I looked at it, the cost of living in the country seemed to have been gaga. And I really wanted to have a look under the bonnet to see why this is happening, not the result of it happening. And that's what we're going to do. This is the first programme in Rip Off Republic. We're going to peel away the skin of this thing we've created called Modern Ireland and go on an odyssey around it. No more. Now, this is Ireland. You live in this wonderful country, OK? And you've had all of your wages now. And you're deciding what to spend your wages on after me me, the government, has taken money away from you already. So who'd like to go first to spend their money? What would, what would you like to spend your money on? Pick anything you like. There's a wonderful little country with a great little workforce. <laughs> and I'm the government. Just watch. What would you like? A car. A car! Oh, you certainly can have a car. Is it an expensive car? Well, I'll take about 77% of that for myself. So there you live that. <laughs> now, what would you like? Sweets. Some sweets? OK. Anything else? Um, a car. Oh, a ca oh, dear, oh, dear. OK. <laughs> car, you having a lot left over now? Another sweet? No, I'm afraid you don't have enough money. <laughs> you don't have enough money. Okay. But you live in house too, do you? You, oh. <laughs> and you drive the car? No. Oh, you don't drive the car? No. But you have to have tax for the car, because otherwise you go to jail. Oh, dear. I'm afraid you've no money left. There's a handful of very powerful people and companies out there with a major influence over our basic human needs, a roof over our heads. The temptation for corruption is there. When a developer gets planning permission, immediately there are levies as soon as it starts on every unit, every house on that piece of land. Now, do you think the developer pays that out of his back pocket? No. no. He adds it on in the price of the house. This was a deliberate decision by local councils. Government knew about it. And here are the figures in levies. Remember, people are borrowing money to buy levies. That's what's happening. Fingal County Council, 16,000 per house. Dublin City and Dunleary, 11,500. Meath, 12,000. They're only getting away with 2,800 up in Donegal. So, isn't it the case that there is an incentive already built into the thing, into the whole system, whereby people are getting a percentage of a rising property market? And bear that in mind the next time you hear concerns about social housing and all that kind of thing, because it looks more like a smokescreen. It looks more like cosmetics. So as we come to the end of tonight's programme, what we've seen is that the cost of shelter in Ireland, the cost of our homes, is being driven up by interests that go way back to a labyrinthine relationship between big business, big property and developers going back to 1922. We've also seen that this idea that we have a competitive grocery market is another myth. It's just not there. We've also learned that we don't live in a low tax economy. We have low taxes on work. But thereafter, there's just a huge amount of other taxes being collected off us left, right and centre. And that tells us why there is such a huge transfer of wealth going on as well between those who've got ahead of us and those trying to come in to this property market. 
And remember, they're borrowing money to make ends meet. So then they're going to credit card companies and all that kind of thing. We've also learned that the cost of our grocery baskets are artificially high, being kept up by the groceries order. And I want to introduce you to one item in particular on the groceries order. It's been on the order since 1987, and this is it, a grocery, a nappy. Did you ever try eating a nappy? <laughs> Did you ever try one? Let me tell you the story of nappies. These things, now remember you've got a young working mum spending branded nappies up to a €1,000 of her hard-earned cash just on this item alone a couple of weeks ago. These nappies were taken off the grocery order list. And guess what was needed to take them off? A high court action to take one item off the grocery order list. Now, this is kind of important, and I'll tell you why. You can hang on to the nappies there, good man. <laughs> and it's this. The groceries order is currently under review. It's under review by Michal Martin. And Michal Martin right now is getting a pain in his ear from RG Data and a pain in his ear from IBEC about why the groceries order should stay in place for our benefit. Now, who are we for? Are we for RG Data and IBEC? No. Or are we for the working mum trying to make ends meet? Yes. Well, here's what to do about it then. When you go home and you're listening at home tonight, let's send a message to the government. Let's send a message to Hall Martin because if there's one thing that works in Ireland is that the people that deliver the largest mail bags win. So get a nappy. Clean one, please. <laughs> Put it in an envelope and post it to the following address. Hall Martin... Department of Enterprise, Trade and Employment, Kildare Street, Dublin 2. Remember, who delivers the most wins. I'm Eddie Hobbs. That was Rip Off Republic. Tune in again next week where we'll be peeling off more layers. Good night. <laughs>